now to the COVID pandemic and an alarming shortage of hospital beds for COVID patients across the South. Rural areas are being especially hard hit. Here's CBS's Janet Chamley. Hello, today I present to you an extremely attractive application for music lovers. It's completely free. You can listen to music online or download unlimited music to use whenever you don't have internet. The powerful search function helps you find anything you want. Trust me. It's hard not to find what you're looking for because the search function is really powerful. Application download link is attached in the description of the video. I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thanks. Tonight in hospitals across the South, it's not unlike the pandemic's darkest days, a battlefield. To the central. Albany, Georgia had the worst per capita death rate in the nation early last year. Its hospitals are overrun again. That our expiratory minute ventilation is terrible. Dr. Enrique Lopez is working through his second surge. Did you ever think last year when you were the center of the virus for a period of time that you would ever be back at this place? Absolutely not. Make no mistake, we are right back where we were and we're in the fight of our lives again. Intensive care units are now at 90% capacity across Georgia. And where there are beds, often not enough doctors and nurses. Arkansas is close to capacity. And in Alabama, almost no ICU beds at all. Dozens of critical COVID patients are waiting in emergency rooms. Some 20,000 Mississippi students just last week were quarantining for COVID exposure. She was a great kid. Really Justin Waddell lost his 13-year-old daughter, Michaela. From Wednesday, she was alive. She, she felt a little sore throat. By Saturday, she was gone. Florida's two largest school districts are now making masks mandatory. Miami-Dade joining Broward in opposing the governor's order. A new Oxford University study finds fully vaccinated people with breakthrough infections carry a similar amount of the virus as the unvaccinated who get the Delta variant COVID. You've been through the ringer. With Delta sweeping the region, Dr. Lopez says the suffering is unimaginable. They're suffocating you, then they keep begging you for air. To go from room to room and to see that, you can't help but feel helpless, powerless. Here at the CDC tonight, they are reporting the highest rate of COVID hospitalizations for people under the age of 50 since the pandemic started. But there is a bright spot. More than a million doses of the vaccine were given today. That is the highest one-day total in seven weeks. Nora. Jana Chamlian, thank you so much.